Welcome back to another edition of This Week in Three Minutes. I've called this one as good as it gets. Well, the, uh, <laughs> the list of things I came up with, I mean, <clears throat> if you've never heard the term Goldilocks economy, uh, it, it's a term where central banks are given credit for creating a, 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 an economic environment th that everything seems just right. Uh, I mean, look at it right now. We have uh, stable and really low unemployment, depending on what numbers you use. Um, inflation is exactly where they want it to be. Uh, wage growth, well, not quite great. At least it's there. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, defense contractors right now are making money. The stock market's up this week. Uh, even gold and silver, the most unloved assets right now, are still right exactly in the trading range we've been tracking, meaning that they're holding it on course for a breakout in the near term. Yeah, and interest rates haven't gone crazy. Uh, what else we got? Well, investors are feeling happy. The general population is feeling happy. <coughs> and they should. Uh, this is exactly what the central banks want. Uh, this is the kind of economic and political environment where people have faith in the system, that it works and it works for them. The problem is, though, is that the Goldilocks economies that we've seen you know, in the, in the, the mid-2000s and the late 90s they're all temporary. If you go back through throughout the ages, through many, many decades, this satis satisfying and, and comforting feeling that people have is very short-lived. Uh, it's just the nature of business cycles. So enjoy this one while it lasts. I suspect we'll probably be like this through the summer. We may even see a nice pop in the metals, giving everybody out there the opportunity to feel good. I mean, debt doesn't matter right now. Uh, this skirmish over in, in Syria is, uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> hasn't really created too much in the way of trouble except for the fact that you know the deal in Iran got torn up and most likely the sanctions are going to limit Iranian exports uh, and the Saudis will have less competition for their oil so right now it seems like everybody's winning and uh, it is a, actually it's a nice feeling for for everybody hopefully we all enjoy a nice relaxing summer and the markets don't do anything untoward or crazy until then However, over the next few months, I strongly encourage you, if you have not rebalanced and taken somewhat of a, a defensive position, you know, to protect the growth that you've enjoyed the last many years, um, well, you're playing with fire because I'll remind you, business cycles are, they're temporary, uh, or sorry, <laughs> these kinds of uh, business environments, these economic political environments, they are by their very nature, very temporary. And it's business cycles that went out at the end of the day and uh, we are on one of the longest business, positive business cycles we've seen for some time. Uh, you know, there's, a, there's an old joke about uh, an optimist and a pessimist out for coffee. And the optimist takes a look around at everything and says, you know, this is as good as it gets. And the pessimist says, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, where we go from here as anyone's guess, um, you know, for the time being, at least debt doesn't matter. So enjoy this. This is, uh, this is the good feeling. Uh, hopefully it uh, lasts longer than any of us can predict, but it uh, might be a wise idea to take a defensive position, at least on part of your life savings, uh, so we don't get blindsided. Anyways, have yourself a wonderful weekend, and uh, see you next Friday.